created this mindset, this poverty mindset, where as though you got to be tough in order to be, like, if you ain't tough, if you ain't this, if you ain't that, a bunch of bullshit. What's up with all this tough talk? Shout out to Wallow and his motivational speech. Let me say that again. What's up with all this tough talk? And selling fake images. So you supposed to be a player in the game, but you on the sideline looking like you don't even know what a scrimmage is. You see, it's similar to practice. Like when you practice dodging real substance in your music and interviews. See, let's talk about the change and the growth. You see, I ain't influenced about them jail cells you done been into. Or what you finna do. But though I'm only gonna respect you for the last thing that you did. Cause see, I'm on my grown man now. Half the stuff y'all talking about shit, nigga, we done did as kids. Fool, and it stayed there. See, I got bills to pay. Kids to raise and the mess to say, and y'all fake-ass tough guys is in my way. Shooting the crowds, talking loud just to get a little bit of attention. You see, it's some locked up forever off just one mistake that ain't never coming home and you can be next, but you don't even think about the prevention. It's a done venture. Of these ghettos and projects is a project. And our TV got you scared to go outside and to our kids we passing down this nonsense. Dumbing down our views to confuse our angle and focus. Seeing the white community is white on white crime, but they just want you to hate your own people. See, take a look around, haven't you noticed? You see, I'm just like you, my brother. So when you see me put down your guard, love yourself and I love you too. And I ask yourself the question. Why is they forcing you to be hard? Why is they forcing you to be hard? Rap talk. You told me to a motherfucker that spent his whole life. I spent my whole life, nephew, in the motherfucking slammer. Doing five years in and out of the juvenile system. You know what I'm saying? Then I went and got that 19 and a half to 52 years in the penitentiary when I was 17 certified as an adult. Nephew, I'm giving you the real game. See, a lot of these niggas, they gonna hype you up, yeah, you a demon, yeah, you this, that, and third, but they ain't gonna send you no money when you go to jail. They ain't gonna pay for your lawyer when you go to jail. They ain't gonna stop past your mom or your grandma's house and check on your little brothers and sisters when you go to jail. You know what they gonna do? They gonna be trying to fuck your baby mama. See, niggas don't be talking the real shit, and they gonna forget about you. You know what? They gonna throw a couple free so-and-so, free demon days, Free this, that shit cool and dandy, but it ain't gonna get you no commissary, it ain't gonna get you no lawyer money, and it ain't gonna get that 60 to 120 years that you got on your ass off you. 